Auto Real. Hello and welcome to the new video. In today's video, I will show you how to clean your RX 570 Sapphire Nitro graphics card. So stay tuned and enjoy in the video. First, what you want to do? Turn the card around and you want to unscrew all of these screws except these four that holds the heatsink. And that's it for the plate. Now let's remove the plate. And the plate is out. All right. Now what we want to do is to unplug these two connectors. This is for fans. This one and easily go. And you have this one for LED light. So easily unplug it and you have removed fans. All right, now what you want to do is to unscrew these four ones. They are holding heat sink. And now if the thermal paste is dry out, you need to carefully remove heat sink. Be very careful because you can damage the components underneath this. Yeah, as I thought so. All right, so you have successfully removed heatsink out of the PCB. Now I will not change thermal pads, only thermal paste. Now let's take this little bit of wool, isopropyl, best thing for cleaning. Be very careful when you clean, you can damage capacitors. If there is a lot of paste uh, on GPU, you can use toothbrush and clean it nicely. Now use the same toothbrush to clean PCB. On the back side, again toothbrush, we're going to spray it with isopropyl for a bit, let's clean the GPU to shine, you don't want to leave any of the stuff on the GPU, be sure that will remove from your GPU, now let's clean heatsink and there's a lot of mess in here so let's start let's first remove it with this old one all right now let's take this with the isopropyl on it okay now you need some kind of compressed air or air compressor to blow the dust out okay so it's cleaned you can either use as i said air compressor or take the toothbrush and just clean it and go outside and blow into these radiators i think that is what it's called so okay we have finished also with a heat sink now Let's clean fans. This was definitely in some warehouse. You can also use air compressor to 
blow the dust from the fans but remember that uh, when you blow with the air compressor press fan so it does not spin from the side it's good yeah you can see it maybe have a little bit of dust but when you don't have air compressor and you need to clean it one feather by one feather there it is okay all right now let's apply thermal paste we're going to remove this new one is coming now let's take this pcb all right as i can see we have lost one thermal pad on vram so let's apply new one game bird thermal pad we need let's say this much and well like a square remove plastic from both sides all right now let's apply thermal paste arctic mx4 we are going to put oh, i don't know i think this will be enough all right now we will put heat sink it goes like this It has settled. Now hold this, hold heatsink and PCB together. And screw in two of these screws. One. And Now you can put it back onto the table for these two screws. Screw it in. Okay. Now we're going to we are going to put back fans. So first plug this in. So put the car like this. Hold it in one hand. So first connector and second connector. Can you see? All right. Second connector now. Turn it around. It settles like a baby. And now we are going to clean. Yeah, we need to do this. We need to clean this plate. Just for a bit. It looks dirty. All right, it looks nice. So let's get back to our graphic card. Put the plate uh, yeah. like this. All right, let's put the screws back in. So these two short screws go in here. Now these long ones. And yeah, that's it, completely clean.
All right, so that's it for today's video. We have completely cleaned Cephar Nitro. This video card will be in our future scrap build. Uh, be sure to leave a like, share this video on social media, subscribe on the channel. Of course, if you want to donate, you have a donor box link down there in the description. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye.